hello group number one welcome to your reading today we're doing uh, why are people jealous of you so i've already pulled the oracle and i think i have a tarot card as well so i'm just going to be looking at the energy that's coming through with these cards just to see what kind of a person you are how do people perceive you and what are some of the great qualities that you have that people feel jealous of so let's start First of all, you have Phoenix. This is giving me Scorpio energy. We have Justice. This is Venus energy. We have the Bridge. Where do I keep this? This is out of frame. Let's see. I think this works. I love how all the cards are colorful usually with this deck uh, these are three different decks but by the same person the, uh, the cards are usually bla more black and white but you got very colorful cards next up you have 11th house Libra Sun 8th house Actually, I want to keep this one here because this is giving me Scorpio energy, Phoenix. Phoenixes represent transformation, which is Scorpio energy. Let me just keep these three here. And finally, this is the card you have, Connection, number six. This one we'll keep here. So I hope the cards are visible. Okay, let's talk about the energies that we have. Libra came out twice with Justice and the Libra card. We have Scorpio, strong Scorpio here. I'm also getting Ketu because Ketu is connected with bridges. So I, I get Ketu as well, south node of the moon. And this is also giving me uh, Libra energy, you know, two people together, relationships, connection. I see that. And we have Sun, obviously. We have 11th house, which is Aquarius. So what I'm picking up, first of all, um, I feel like you're someone who has a great sense of justice. I'm getting the energy of a pile that I did recently with a different reading. Uh, what that reading was, how do people perceive you, I remember. And I think it was first group that uh, also had this justice and strong Libra overall. So I think I might link the video here. If you've not watched that video, I think that I'm picking up the energy of uh, that pile in this pile as well. So what I'm getting is um, with strong Libra, you could be someone who connects with people very easily with this connection also. And Libra is usually the seventh house, which is about everyone else besides you. It's not just your uh, partner, not just your uh, romantic partner, not just your business partner, but the entire world that's opposite of you. So I feel like um, most of the people picking this pile, you are someone who can connect with people easily. And that is one quality that people notice about you, how you really form this great connection with people. People feel at ease with you. You have this level of comfort that you cultivate very easily or very quickly it comes effortlessly to you so people notice that about you even with 11th house this is the uh, house connected with connections so social connections or just um, friends even people who are elder to you i think you can connect them connect with them beautifully a lot of people who help you so people you form connections not just for friendship but uh, you could always feel like People tend to help you or this is uh, what people feel jealous about how group number one always connects with people. They have a, uh, someone to always call upon if they need help with business. They have a person if they need help with uh, studies, they can reach out to someone. So there's a lot of people. The energy is very social around you where you could have a lot of connections and you find it easy to connect with people or people just kind of show up and help you out. Uh, some of you, you could also have that pretty privilege. I'm getting that where you're just good looking and you just ask people to help you and they just help you even when they don't know you all that well. 
so i'm getting this energy of someone who supported and i feel like you're not very egoistic sun gets debilitated in the sign of libra why because sun is the significator of the self uh, it's connected to the first house so our individuality who we are as a person uh, sun is that's why it's represented why our ego or it shows our ego but in relationships we don't um really operate from that we have to kind of let the ego go right so that's why sun gets debilitated in the sign of libra which talks about having to connect with people letting go of the ego so you understand the other person you listen to them and you make it work you don't act like this regal royal person you you kind of bow down to the person which is why saturn gets exalted um or it gets exalted in libra but also it gets directional strength in the 7th house why is that because a saturn is connected with service when you serve someone else so when you serve the people when you serve your relationships you form a deeper connection with them so you could be someone who's not just taking advantage of uh, these social connections you also help those people out there's justice you know there's a balance here so you're very balanced you're very supported you're very well connected you're social you connect with people easily you could be really good looking also i think it's about your perspective i'm drawn towards these sunglasses so the way you look at people the way you um treat your connections uh, the way you treat people because libra is obviously connected with the sense of justice right uh and this card showing up as well with the white and the black cat it's like uh you treat you treat people fairly because you want to be treated that way as well and with phoenix also this talks about even when you suffer uh setbacks you kind of transform you gonna take that situation and take it in your stride you keep on moving forward so there's this energy of you where nothing kind of uh brings you down even with the 8th house energy this can talk about uh, it says intimacy so uh, forming like an intimate bond where you connect with people um very like i said effortlessly where you connect with people let's say you know someone you meet someone and in like a couple of months you form this bond with them which uh, certain other friends that that person might have they've been friends with that person for years and all of a sudden they feel like why is this person um connecting so deeply with this person they've only known for a few months so they could feel jealous of that how um your connection with people can supersede uh people's other friendships where they've known that person for years and years i'm definitely getting that you could also be someone who's slightly secretive it's almost as if you have hidden knowledge that people want to get to know so like your secrets or, you know maybe you have uh, that charm you know that seductive charm where you kind of charm everyone so people might feel like uh, they want to get to know your secrets this is what i'm picking up and uh, there's something hidden about you maybe you have some hidden knowledge or some i don't know it's like almost people want to get to know you on a deeper level they want to connect with you so even the people who are feeling jealous they're like i want to get to know this person better i want to know their secrets and i'm also picking up with this libra energy that you could be a di good diplomat you're not someone who would get into an argument you're not someone who would fight who would get dirty you know you keep it classy and this uh, this air of maturity about you and people like you because you have an easy going energy and uh, i don't know it's like people want to treat you with respect they kind of hold you in high regard i'm getting that with this connection i'm also picking up that uh, you could be someone who gets a lot of um, attention very easily you could have a lot of people who are always kind of asking you out interested in you romantically so um a lot of people who don't have that they might feel jealous they might feel like why is group number 1 the most popular why do they always have someone interested in them so that is uh, something that is definitely coming through i feel like you are also someone who would uh, not judge someone uh judge them because of their past or something or the other because uh, sun in libra can sometimes represent people uh what what's coming to me is liquor you know i also see these glasses here and i remember there was someone who had this placement sun in libra and they had like a liquor 
company or something and i know someone personally as well um someone who whose father because son is the father and libra is also the business so um i know someone and their father uh, sells cigarette cigarettes or some something to do with that so what i'm picking up uh, son and libra can a lot of the times represent a job or something that people kind of um i don't know what the right word is but it's not regal it's not royal it's not something you show off it's almost like hush hush you know um like liquor and tobacco and drugs and stuff like that that is uh, because it's where sun gets uh, debilitated so it's not something that you're proud of you want to show off or um i don't know there's like a bit of stigma connected to it that sort of a job it's not the most uh, righteous sort of a job or business that's coming through so um i feel like you're someone who wouldn't judge someone for that you're because uh, libra is also connected to shukracharya who was uh, he was the guru or mentor uh, to the asuras which were for the lack of a better word like uh, not the devil but i don't know how to describe it but uh, the guys opposite the gods um they were more they had a bit of ego issues they were not bad people but they were very strong and they had ego issues and this was because shukracharya was very uh, righteous he was like everyone he was very impartial this is what i'm picking up like you are someone who's impartial you don't judge people you get to know them and then form your opinion so you are open to a lot of people i feel like you have this uh, broad mindedness that a lot of people lack this actually allows you to get more opportunities in life you're like that bridge even some some of you could be even lawyers because lawyers don't have that right to really judge their client they're like okay this is your situation i'm going to defend you they don't uh, really ask the person hey did you do it did you not do it they're just there to do their job so uh, very impartial very uh, non judgmental energy is coming through with the bridge can also talk about someone who's uh, that mediator advocate um even the myers briggs is it called personality test i think uh, the people picking this pile you could be like an advocate or uh, what's the other one i said mediator or something i think i also took the test and i think i got those uh once i got the advocate and once i got the mediator so i can definitely connect with this energy someone who's diplomatic and instead of making like a mess of things you're just very you keep your cool you keep it classy and you keep it moving forward and you just connect with people and uh, you want to bridge the gap it's like you want to get to know the person better without having your preconceived notions and judgments about them and also this helps you to connect with their emotions with the water here it's water is connected to emotions right so you get to know the person better people open up to you there's this emotional connection going on so i feel like uh, your special qualities are connecting with people not having judgments about them which allows people to open up to you and uh, kind of treat you with certain respect and reverence that other people don't get and you are someone who can easily uh, you know find the um, secrets of other people you connect with them they open up to you they tell them your secrets and you also have this air of mystery about you where people want to figure you out and uh, a lot of the people picking this pile you could also be good looking so people could have certain preconceived notions about you they would feel like oh this person is too pretty they must be dumb or um, this person is really good looking that's why everyone does them a favor they don't uh, deserve all their accolades and um, all the recognition that they get which is not true it's because you treat people nice that's why uh, people are nice to you it's not exactly just for your looks and you could have a lot of friends you could have like a happening social circle which people might be jealous about i think it's your looks your aesthetics your view on life um all of that is what i'm picking up i'm also getting like a little sex appeal coming through with the libra and the 8th house and all of that and you're not egoistical egotistical you're very kind kind compassionate energy uh is what i'm picking with this pile so that's the reading for you group number 1 i hope this resonated i wasn't all over the place 
and uh, if it did please let me know your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye guys hello group number two welcome to today's reading today we're doing who is jealous of you no no wait it's why are people jealous of you so it's a bit more broad instead of doing just one person picking up one person's energy i, I thought let me just figure out what kind of energy um, you know the different groups give off that people pick up on and they notice those qualities about you and they feel they kind of feel jealous they're like i wish i had that so this is what we're doing today i've already pulled the cards uh, this is the card you chose we have the kiss which is really pretty card i love this uh, crescent moon and it's uh, this orange and yellow color yellow is actually connected to the sun and jupiter and orange is orange is sun yellow is jupiter yeah that's what i'm getting uh anyway let me uh, show you the other cards that are pulled for you let's start with uh, the tarot you got the high priestess with this tiger we have dragonfly uh, it's interesting it says the air element here but in this image we see the water element as well so that's the dual nature that's coming through with this pile that is interesting i think it'll fit here okay next up we have the moon you know not surprised we have this obviously we have the moon here and we have this high priestess energy which is connected to the moon you know being very uh, intuitive we have saturn we have the third house this is gemini energy i don't know how the cards will fit let's see we have virgo more mercury and we have self-respect number 28 i love this uh, imagery with the person walking and we have a fairy here almost as if divine guidance is coming through very intuitive you know here the energy as well with the moon and this castle which is uh, almost uh, it's like it's made for you it's already done and you're walking towards it's almost as if you've done all the work uh, with this self-respect it tells me you're someone who's uh, worked a lot maybe on your self-respect you uh, could have had like a long journey long battle where you could have struggled initially how do i keep these cards i'm really confused how do i set them down is this okay i don't know if you can see the card it's not that clear but let's see uh, this is what we're dealing with we have strong mercury here because we got third house which is connected to jo uh, <laughs> about to say germany why did i want to say that maybe someone's from germany is watching but or someone's traveling to germany maybe but uh, it's gemini and we have virgo so both the um, zodiac signs of mercury are here we have moon saturn uh, some of you could have moon saturn and mercury conjunction i'm picking up so let's talk about the cards let's start with the moon we have all this moon imagery coming through so i feel like uh, a lot of people picking this pile could be very intuitive could be very feminine also with Vir virgo it's also connected to the virgin so you could be someone who's like very uh, feminine very wife material relationship material sort of a person you could get a lot of attention with the tiger here tiger is connected uh, tiger is very um i connected with the hunter because tigers um they can't help themselves they they really enjoy hunting whether they're hungry or not they tend to just hunt so it's very aggressive energy and it's showing up in the card i kind of feel like it's almost as if you get a lot of attention you get a lot of people who ask you out you have this imagery with you with this feminine energy with all this virgo and feminine um with the moon coming through we have the kiss obviously this is very romantic energy and we see the touch which is interesting because mercury is connected with the skin and the touch so i feel like you could have like really soft skin there's something about your skin uh, maybe the way you dress it really you could have luminous skin something about uh touching and that tactile feeling is coming through some of you you could have that um, 
you know the love language that's connected with touch physical touch you could it could be your love language or people are really drawn towards you they're attracted to you they want to like touch your skin or something like this it's very romantic energy coming through with the kiss also it's almost as if i don't know uh I'm just getting this energy maybe some of you in this pile you don't really date a whole lot so you could have that um, you could be someone who has this image where people think this person doesn't date anyone and they're always single I really want to date someone like that someone who's not had like multiple partners or something like this is coming through where people kind of feel like you're a prized possession and they want to be the one that gets picked by you so uh, hunter but in passive energy so that's what i'm picking up and uh, i'm definitely picking up attractiveness with this pile or with the moon and saturn together you could be someone who's very wise and also someone who's maybe been through a bit of difficult uh, life situations uh, because uh, this is almost a yoga for depression or uh, trials and tribulations so someone who's been through a difficult journey like i said i'm picking up this journey and this is why a lot of people who are in these uh, things like tarot spirituality astrology they uh, they've been through a difficult time that's why they're looking for answers they're seeking the higher knowledge that's why they connect with spirituality it's not the people who are born with a silver spoon who are into spirituality or into things connected to the 8th house 12th house 8th house is transformation difficult things challenges accidents and just overall very difficult energy with the 8th house 12th house is loss isolation you know so loss i think i said that loss isolation and confinement um feeling kind of lost it's also connected to our intuition 12th house is like dreaming fantasizing daydreaming and intuitive downloads um it's connected with religion it's also connected to our sleep cycles and all of that so 8th and 12th house energy is coming through people who've been through difficult uh, things and then they kind of um, look for the answers they look for higher guidance people who maybe uh, move to or not move to but kind of turn to religion con- turn to spirituality turn to higher wisdom turn to the universe for the answers so this is the energy i'm picking up where you're someone very wise people kind of respect you they take you seriously with the saturn and uh, you could be someone who withholds with the third house saturn being the third house you don't really speak a lot or you're mysterious with your speech people are like what is group number 2 trying to say they don't say much i keep asking them but they don't give me the right answer you could be someone who when people ask you a question you answer with the question very mysterious right even with the dev- uh, dragonfly it's very uh, whimsical sort of a insect it's very pretty it's i don't know it's very ethereal is what i'm picking up and o- overall just the entire energy is kind of like that where people want to get close to you get intimate with you connect with you on a deeper level figure you out kind of take care of you as well and this is very intuitive very feminine uh spiritual energy coming through this is very whimsical uh you could be good looking with this uh, because uh, the way the dragonfly looks it's very uh, beautiful the way the light catches its wings it's very pretty and we have this dual nature also where you could be very fun and interesting with your speech one moment with this air element which is connected to communication and speech we also have the water which is about being deep being mysterious so you could have a, a dual nature with uh, this mercury energy i'm picking that up you have strong mercury which is rules dual signs Gemini and Virgo right you could be someone like i said perpetually single that's why people want to get to know you better with self respect you are someone who turns people down so people are intimidated people feel like you, they you will turn them down and uh, people feel like they have to take you seriously treat you right they have to show up right and kind of impress you because with moon and saturn you're not easily impressed you also kind of withhold your emotions because saturn reduces everything it's uh, um jupiter expands it's it's expansion saturn is restriction it restricts withholds and moon is the emotion so it's like people cannot read your emotions they're like hmm i feel like group number 2 likes me but they're not really sure they gave me that compliment yesterday but uh, 
they don't really reach out to me so it's kind of like that especially with your communication because this is showing up in your third house which is connected to speech and communication how you connect with people so people feel like you withhold your emotions you don't really show your emotions you're also someone who's wise you know very mature you handle every situation with a certain grace that they really respect and even with self respect it's all about the energy that you carry the vibration that you're in so if you are in this vibration of self respect i treat myself with respect i treat everyone with respect you attract that to people treat you with respect because they take you seriously they uh, have a lot of respect for you they hold you in high regard they consider you an old soul wise person this is the energy i'm getting with you so people are jealous because they can't figure you out and also you just everyone respects you that's the main message i'm getting like there's something special about you your aura and uh, people tend to respect you a whole lot they take you seriously when you say something you mean it you will follow through uh it's like your word has a, a weight to it and you don't speak much you could be someone who um people get intimidated and they keep yapping away and you don't speak much certain reduces um, the communication you know people don't really express their emotions so they just don't talk a whole lot i've seen that with certain in the second or the third i've definitely seen that and you could be slightly moody also so there could be certain moments where you show this other side of you where you really fun you really forthcoming very maybe you might even flirt but then you go back to that so satin energy you know that you're used to so um i also feel like you're someone who's really in touch with your intuition you follow your intuition so you make the right decisions and people feel uh, comfortable in your energy there's something about your energy that i'm picking up with all this moon and you could be highly feminine also which I feel like just the way you are the way you carry yourself even without speaking too much even without giving too much away you are very feminine so I think this these are some of the qualities that people notice about you they feel jealous of those things the way that people treat you it's mainly because you are so whole and full on your own um that you don't really try to impress people which ends up other people trying to impress you so it's the way other people treat you i think that's the main thing that people are jealous of this is what i'm picking up so yeah that's the reading for you group number 2 i hope this resonated with someone if it did please consider leaving a comment i want to know your thoughts and uh, that's it if you haven't subscribed please subscribe i'll see you in the next one guys bye hello group number 3 this is the card that you chose storm today we're doing why are people jealous of you so what are some of the qualities that you project because instead of going for one person why is one specific person jealous of you i thought let me do a broad a more general reading because it's about the kind of person that you are the qualities that you possess that people tend to notice and uh, they're like i wish i had that so it's going to be a positive reading i'm not trying to say anything negative or say that people are trying to put evil eye on you that's not my intention it's just a positive reading about certain good qualities that people notice in you and they want to have those qualities they want to imbibe that so that's a reading um this is the card that you chose we have the storm which is uh, this is giving me strong ardra energy um by the way i just want to mention that i recently did a reading i think my last reading because i just got this deck i have just i think i've only done uh, one other reading with this deck and in the third group if i'm not wrong it was a third group which had this exact same card so i wonder if um anyone who's picking this pile i'm picking up your energy from that reading so if you haven't watched that reading uh, watch the one right before this one i think it was called what was it it was you and them the person on your mind past present and future So yeah it took me a solid couple of minutes to remember <laughs> that reading um so third group this card came out so anyway ardra uh, energy i'm picking up with this card ardra is connected to storms rain and lightning that's why i'm picking that up but just as i said that i remember there's another nakshatra i think it's purva bhadrapada it falls on the aquarius and pisces cusp that is also connected with lightning i just remember that and ardra is gemini so 
uh, let's look at some of the cards that are pulled for you we have beaver this is earth energy we have the world we have ascendant i always love to see the ascendant in a reading we have venus we have um i love that card leo we have sixth house and we have one more life purpose number 19 should i keep it here i think it's okay we can work with this so what i'm picking up first of all let me just talk about the cards a bit we have ascendant which is connected to aries we have venus of of course we have uh, this is virgo sixth house virgo mercury energy we have leo so uh, one thing i'm picking up first of all venus gets debilitated in the sixth house or i should say the sign of Virgo even though we got Leo but I am picking up this energy that you could be someone who's very particular with Venus and uh, Virgo I've noticed that uh, people tend to first of all they could have good money they could have good looks they're very particular about their aesthetic and clothes they always want to look their best you know because uh, now the person is con connected to the form which is the form the physical form you know uh, whereas with the Venus in Pisces, that's when Venus gets exalted. It's more about the feeling, right? Uh, here it's about aesthetics, material things, because Virgo is the sixth house, which is earth energy. So now the person could be someone who's very well dressed. Uh, they could have really good aesthetics. They um, they could be into even home decor, you know, beautifying themselves, beautifying their surroundings. That's strong energy with uh these two cards that i'm picking up so you could be someone who's really good looking even with this leo i'm getting that very feminine energy usually with this uh, with this particular deck just this image is a bit different than usual so you could be someone who's uh, very attractive very confident good looking you dress really well you look really nice you take good care of yourself you invest in yourself venus is luxury so you always want to look and come across as uh, regal and luxurious and you could also have uh, good self-respect i've noticed uh, venus and leo these uh, people tend to be uh, you know very independent they like to call the shots they're very much like sure of themselves they don't second guess themselves they have strong confidence and they have a strong sense of self very uh, charming um, impressive is what i'm picking up so you could have that energy you could be someone who's into creative work also you could be very creative i'm picking up this energy maybe some of you even draw and you put up your own paintings in your house something like this but uh, here also i'm drawn towards the dress so you dress really nice you could be someone maybe um you just give up this life of luxury to people even with the world it can represent uh, success right and with this pile what I'm picking up, even though I think I got some elements of uh, uh, in the, all the three piles of someone who's good looking and someone who gets a lot of attention, with this pile, uh, the energy I'm picking up, even though obviously, of course, with the ascendant, you could be good looking, especially your body, your looks and the way you dress, the way you present yourself, the way you speak, your speech and your hair, everything about you. I feel like you're just uh, like the whole package. You work on it. And uh, with this pile, I'm getting this energy that you're the pile where you're listening to um, listening to those videos on the art of seduction. You're, figure, uh, you're figuring out, uh, uh, maybe listening to uh, dating coaches. What's the advice? How do you approach someone? Or I don't know, just working on yourself, you know, putting a lot of work and investment towards uh, becoming the better version of yourself you know you you work on it is what i'm getting and some of you you could also be in um, going to the gym something to do with that because ascendant is physical body and sixth house is your everyday routine it's also connected to exercise gymming uh, health and healing all of that it's also connected to your work so for those of you who work 
and uh, you're pa- very passionate about your work um you're someone who comes across as a person who's just too busy uh with your work and your work is very important to you so i don't know with this pile i'm picking up that p- your partners might feel like i'm not good enough for group number 3 or they don't have time for me or they just they're so successful they have so much going on uh, how do i impress this person because i feel like with this pile i'm getting this energy of being busy and being very self focused uh, not self centered in a bad way but in a good way and very uh, special those of you who work or you have a hobby or you have a passion you're very focused on that your energy is always all about it even when you talk to your romantic partners you could always be talking about your passions your hobbies your work so your energy is very focused towards your own self so you come across as a person who's very hard working even with the beaver family oriented beaver dependable someone who's like a relationship material and even with the life purpose i forgot to mention this of course it's all about who you are it's not your relationship that defines you with this pilots who you are what you work and uh, what are your interests what are your hobbies what is your work that defines you so with this pile i'm getting the most energy where you focused on your own self on your work and that comes through people pick up on that so people are jealous of uh, how much you get done how um, you could be someone who has a lot of talents and picking up so you could be creative you're good looking but you also know all the nice music you know all the nice nice restaurants and uh, uh your work is thriving uh you have like i don't know people would get to know you and they feel like this person looks good but they also follow like a gym routine and they eat really you know well they eat a, they have like a healthy diet and they have all these hobbies they have all these friends how does this person get it done so i'm just getting this energy of a person who's doing everything and also you have this intimidating aura about you with the storm it's like you enter the room and you make an impression you make a splash with the storm it's all about uh i feel like some of you picking this pile could also be going through like a glow up right now you could be going through like a spiritual awakening or there's something happened with you where over the course of last couple of years or you could be going through it right now where you've really blossomed some of you could be even late bloomers i feel like but there's a shift in your energy people who knew you from let's say 5 years ago might not recognize who you are today with the storm it's like a complete transformation has happened you found your soul purpose you found your life purpose and you figured out what looks best on you you are the most confident you've ever been and you're very sure of yourself you know what you want to do in your life and uh, very focused very uh, overall very positive energy just the way people perceive you they think this person has it all figured out and they're just so sure they know everything and they they have all these talents and they're just busy working on themselves every single day people don't expect that you take a day off ever so that's what i'm picking up busy um leveling up hard working always something going on in your life so many hobbies so many interests very interesting person uh fun to talk to intelligent uh self aware aware of the world i see this world imagery it's like you're in touch you know everything about politics what's going on um in different countries and you know about different cultures very regal royal sort of a person with high self esteem high self respect and people treat you that way also with this world it can talk about success so recently you could have hit a good patch you could be making a lot of uh, good money good investments there's something about uh, something that you've been investing in for a long time because sixth house has that energy that gives uh, increments over time you know you keep working on it keep working on it and after a while you start to see the results so that's what i'm seeing with this pile where you've been working very hard people might think that all this success came to you overnight that group number 3 got lucky but no you've been putting in the work so people feel jealous of who you are uh, the way you live your life what your life is and uh, all the stuff that you get done you just have this energy of uh, a high achiever and uh, just having a happening life a busy life a fulfilling full life 
is what I'm picking up. It's not really just about your friends, just about your romantic partner. It's about who you are. So people are jealous of uh, just how you get everything done. People feel inspired by you as well. I feel like there's a lot of inspiration I'm picking up on. But overall, it's people want to imitate you is what I'm picking up. And just amazing energy, group number three overall. So that's the reading for you. I hope this reading resonated with someone. If it did, please leave a comment. Let me know what are your thoughts on the reading. If you have any video suggestions, you can leave those down as well. And if you like my readings, you can join my membership also. Details would be in the description. And that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, guys.